sucked into Earth's magnetic field. Surges of energy pulse down to Earth. At 2.42 a.m. Eastern Time, Earth's geomagnetic field began to react. In Canada, power lines failed. 90 seconds later, the third largest power grid on the continent, Hydro-Quebec, had collapsed. Within two minutes, this storm from the sun had spread clear around our planet. Millions of homes lost electricity. The lights went out over Quebec. Some stayed out for weeks. The everyday conveniences of modern life became traps. Hospitals turned to generators, if they were lucky. In 200 separate incidents across North America, generating equipment burned out and had to be replaced. No one knows if this solar maximum will bring similar disruption. But we now rely more than ever before on satellites for global communications and commerce. These kinds of Sun-Earth events can fry satellite circuits and turn them into space junk. Construction of the International Space Station, requiring many spacewalks each year, may have to pause so astronauts can be protected from excessive radiation. Down here on Earth, long-distance oil pipelines may be weakened by unusual geomagnetically induced charges. No one on Earth can stop or change the Sun's 11-year cycle of activity, but we can understand it better and figure out ways to protect our technology and our way of life. In November 1999, NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, announced a new way to categorize these kinds of space weather events, just as they do for hurricanes and tornadoes. On this new scale,